Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Ziggurat. Now, when we left off, we had just unlocked a new character, and we'd gotten very, very far indeed, almost passing floor four, I do believe. So that is actually very, very cool indeed, and we'll try to do a similar thing here. However, we are going to be using a new character here. As you see, we have unlocked the novice. His name is Kraz, and... Wow, it appears that he has a very powerful magic wand as well, so let's do that. We're going to be playing on normal, we're not going to play on hard, not just yet at least. Let's see how close we are to, oh, unlocking the other characters here. Well, that's going to take quite a while. That one as well. Ooh, we might be quite close to that. Ooh, killing 5,000 enemies. Ooh, 250 kobolds. That's not too bad, okay. Well, let's try the novice and we will be continuing thank you very much so this means that we're going to be using the magic wand a lot more often here because we have much more powerful attacks with it apparently oh my goodness it actually looks a little bit different as well okay what is this a magma rifle oh ho okay that's new well let's open up these barrels just to start with and we'll make our way onward now, we need to be very, very careful about these ske- Whoa, okay, never mind. Don't need to be very careful about these skeletons. They die incredibly quickly, thanks to our incredible magic wand. Look at it. It is destroying things. Goodness me, I actually like playing the novice quite a bit. Whoa. He does appear to take a little bit more damage than I would like, however, from these skeletons. There we are. Thank you very much. Okay, so we've taken those guys down. I'm really just looking forward to leveling up for the first time, really. I'd like to see what kind of skills we can acquire first. And, oh my goodness, there's a lot of doors. A lot of doors. More minions? No, this is actually something else in here. Okay. Let's just take out all the barrels that we can. Now, what is actually in here? Oh, it's a shrine area. Aha. You don't have enough mana to make an offering to the Elder Gods. We can offer 25 health, or we can not offer anything. I won't offer anything at the moment. Oh, your attack rate increases, but you deal less damage. Oh, that is pretty impressive. Okay, that's pretty nice, I gotta say. And shall we take this offering as well? Let's try it. Your max health has increased. Aha, that was potentially worth it. Okay, although we are now at only 61 HP, so we need to be a little bit careful about that. Let's just try and shoot our magma rifle. Oh, I see. It's quite a slow-moving projectile. And what about the alternate fire? Ooh, okay. It splits off into four different projectiles. That's pretty nice, I've got to say. Okay. Well, let's just hope that we find some health potions or we find some sort of skill that will heal us up. And this appears to be a hazard room, which is... Seeming to be rather difficult. Okay. Let's try and see if we can do this. Ooh, no. Ah, yeah. A little bit too much speed right there. Okay, thankfully enough, I can just go forward. Ooh, wow. That is very, very close every time. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we are good. Now we just have to deal with witches, which is actually not bad. Good, good. I think we'll level up if we pick up one more piece of experience. There we go. Thank you. Level 2. That will also increase our max HP, I do believe. And it will increase our current HP as well, which is very nice. There we are. Thank you very much. I just want to make sure I'm not missing any experience, of course. Okay, nothing else in here to find. So, let us upgrade. Increases your staff mana pool. Enemy drops take longer before they disappear. I think we'll probably take the increased mana pool here, because as it's stated at the character select screen, this particular character does have a rather difficult time with mana pools. Wow, okay. That's very closely timed, i got to say. you got to be really quick to get over that before getting any damage. So, what is this? Oh, invisible enemies! Really? No. Okay, wait, you can actually see them before they arrive. And you can see their shadows. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh no. Okay. I'm actually a bit worried about this. Okay. Oh, thankfully they do get uncovered when they attack. So that is good. That's a nice balancing right there, I do believe. Do they? It's kind of... Intermittent at the moment, which is pretty good. 
I'm a little bit worried about this, actually. Okay, take out that guy. Oh my goodness. Okay, health potion, health potion. Oh, no. Okay, let's use this. We gotta use it. <laughs> it's too good not to use. Look at it. It's doing so much damage. We are all out of mana on that, though. Uh, thankfully enough, we were able to get level 3, though. That increases our health once again. Very nice thing to see, indeed. And there we go. Take that guy out as well. Whoa, okay. Phew, that was actually a very difficult to deal with modifier. That is for sure. So, let's see. What can we get here? Oh, the same two things. Okay, let's increase our staff mana pool again then. Even though we don't even have a staff at the moment, I really hope that we find one of those items. That would be quite nice. Okay, so let's go into the other door that we have not ventured into just yet. There we are. Excellent. What is in here? Just minions. Oh, okay. This should be pretty easy to deal with, considering we do have the increased fire rate, and our magic wand skills are impressive. Go on. Yes. Don't get hit by those. Goodness me. Oh, wait. There's actually a skull here as well. The skull is definitely dealing quite a lot of damage to us right there. Hmm. Okay, well, that was it. Ah, we do get a healing potion, which is, I suppose, good enough to get back 10 HP. I'm not going to be insulted by that, because we do need it. I need to be very careful of these spikes as well. Make sure we don't take any more damage from those, or than we already have. There we are. Excellent. Okay, so let's take a look at the map. Okay, so we've completely cleared the northeast section. That's very, very good. Now we can just go for the west, and we'll see what we uncover. Oh, okay, so this is the boss room. Don't really need to worry about this. Wait a minute. What is that? Oh, okay. That's just indicating that we need the portal key. I've never seen that before, you see. I think the game may have been updated since I last made an episode of this. So, that's always nice to know. They are very good developers, in my opinion. They have supported their game very, very much so. And I think I'm going to be doing this room just for the experience. So, let's hope that we don't get any difficult enemies. We are getting some carrots, however. And some skulls. Skulls are definitely one of the more difficult enemies to deal with, at least for me, because they do, yeah, very, very fast charge at you. There we are. They are easy to take out, though, thankfully enough. Okay, pick up all this. Ooh, a lot of healing potions from that. I do believe that room in particular was quite worth it, gotta say. Now, let us head back here. Okay, so which... Ah, Okay, yep, just to the south then. This appears to be the last room, if it doesn't lead anywhere. No, this is the last room, and there it is. We have acquired the portal key. So we've cleared this entire floor, which is very nice indeed. I usually come across the boss room a little bit quicker than that, but let's see here. I have 60 mana for this, so we're going to try to take out the boss with our magic wand alone, but it's probably not going to work out too well. Let's just see what kind of boss we get. Oh, okay. Gun car the Crusher. Okay. He's not too bad, but yeah. He might be pretty tricky to deal with at times when he does the shockwave attack, that's for sure. Okay, so let's do a lot of damage with this. And then we're going to try shooting... Ow. Okay. Try shooting him with this. Oh, wow. This actually does so much damage. Goodness me. Did you see that? That was insane. Okay, so we reached level 4, and we are now full HP, so we have a very, very good start for the next floor as well. And we have cleared the entire floor 1 as well, which is even better. So, there it is. Let's upgrade, recover a small amount of health at the beginning of each battle, or health potions grant 250% more health, but your maximum health is halved. Well, one of you actually stated that this might actually be a really good idea, because right now, we have a really large amount of HP, and um, health potions at the moment only give us 10 HP, but they would give us so much more with this, and I think that might be the way to go, so let's do that. We now only have 68 HP, but we're taking a chance. We're taking a chance that we're actually going to be granted the amazing gift of any potential potions that we may see drop. But you never know. Oh, what is this? Oh, no, these are grenades. Aren't they? Fireweaver bombs. Oh, they actually leave fire on the floor. Is that worth it? 
I don't know whether that's worth it, actually. I really do like the magma rifle a lot better. So let's just take the magma rifle. That will be fine. And how do we... Actually... Oh. Oh, we actually have to jump? Oh, wow. That's new. Okay, we're going to jump over here, then. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Let's hope that we find a staff. Really want one of those. We have so much mana for it that we really want to. Okay, wait a minute. Come on. Take him down. Ah, there we are. One shotgun blast can actually take these guys out, so that's good to know. Now, I am going to be using my magma rifle against the other enemies over there, because there are so many of them. Oh my goodness, yeah. Okay, unfortunately they don't die in one hit from that, so I'm going to have to see if I can... Just use our shotgun a little bit more against them, but we are using a lot of the magic one's power at the moment. Okay, come on, take him down. Oh yes, and I do believe that Ziggurat right now on Steam is 50% off. So if any of you want to pick this up for a, well, reduced price, then now is definitely the time to do it, I would say. Because obviously you've seen my episodes, you've seen what the game has to offer, and I would say that it is a very polished experience indeed. I actually enjoy it a huge amount, and if you're into these kinds of games, then I think you would as well. If you haven't already purchased it, of course, then this is a good time. Ah. Oh, weaker enemies. Great. Okay, I like it. Why not? This makes it very easy for me. Or does it? Because they do appear to have some very difficult enemies spawning at the very end of the room. Got to avoid these axes and avoid the skulls as well. Okay, I'm waiting for that other skull to come around the side here. There we go. Ah, really? Goodness me, he actually survived that? I couldn't believe that. Oh my goodness. Wow, weaker enemies? Come on. <laughs> they don't appear to be weaker to me. Oh ah, well, there we are. And no healing potions. Where are the healing potions? Give me the healing potions. Ah, okay. Well, we have another upgrade. Increases your alchemy mana pool. Let's do that. There we are. Because we do have one of those items. Even if we don't get a staff item, then I suppose we do have the alchemy item right now. So we can make good use of that. Okay, what are we fighting here? Oh, these guys. Okay, let's do it. Take out this guy. Yeah. Usually I have to use more destructive means on these particular enemies. They do a lot of damage, and they have a lot of HP. There we are. Okay. We are fine. There's two of them at the entrance. I'm wondering whether I should use my magma rifle, but I think I should probably just save the mana of that right now. Even if it does make us take a little bit more damage. I think it's worth it. Is it? Maybe. Well, that's the beauty of roguelikes. You can play it how you like, and yeah, if it turns out to be terrible, then it's your own fault. Yes. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. We have a lot of witches right here, and a lot of acid-spitting flamingos. I don't actually know what the official name of that enemy is, but yes. I'm going to call them acid-spitting flamingos if that is what they look like to me. Okay, there we are. Okay, good, good. Yes. Right now I'm just trying to avoid damage, mainly. There's a nice healing potion there, as you can see, that actually did a huge amount. Healed us for such a large amount of HP. Now I see why one of you actually stated that you should go for that, because it seems like quite a powerful ability if you can actually get the healing potions to begin with. That is for sure. So let's just run around and try and pick up all of the experience here, just before it disappears. And then we'll shotgun blast a lot of them. Yes. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so we have a completely full mana pool on every single item, and I can just hope that we come across a staff very soon. Otherwise, I'll have to rely on the magma rifle for the next boss, which will probably be quite fine, because it seemed to be very powerful against Gunkar, but 
It really depends on what kind of enemy we're going to be fighting, of course. So, hmm. Have to be a bit worried about that. Oh, obelisks. Oh, dear. Okay. I'll just do my best with the wand until I run out. Oh, never mind. Okay, I was able to destroy that very easily. So that must mean that there's four obelisks. Oh, dear. Four or three, maybe three obelisks in this particular area. So I'll just have to do as much damage as I can with my wand. There we are. Take it out. And these guys... No! They're very difficult. No, 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 no. Okay. We can deal with this. It's fine. Okay. Okay, that one's almost dead. So I think I can just take him out. Yeah, with the magic wand. Take out that guy as well. Okay. A little bit of breathing room for us right here. And we do have a healing potion right here, but I don't really want to take it, but I suppose I should, because, well, it's there, and it's going to disappear if we don't, so we might as well. I'm just trying to clear this area right now, just to make sure that everything is okay, and then I think I might be taking an upgrade, just in case it helps us with this particular situation. So, increases your health limit. Yeah? Let's do it. Why not? Wow. We need that after the curse, that's for sure. So let's take out one of these guys and then deal with the last obelisk. Do bear in mind that the enemies are going to continually respawn because of the obelisks. So we need to take these guys out as quickly as we can. There we are. Thank you very much. Now we have to deal with the enemies themselves, which is not going to be too bad because I think we're actually back at 100% HP, which is actually very strange indeed. Wow. I like it. Wow. That takes a lot. Goodness me. Takes a lot of damage. Okay, there we go. There's one more flying opponent, and I do believe there is going to be another one? Surely there's going to be another one after that. That seems a bit too easy for me. No? Wow, okay. Hmm, that's fine. Good, good, good. Very nice. So now we can head to the north. I do believe we've cleared everywhere else. Yes, we have. So that must mean that there is going to be a much bigger section of the floor that we have not explored just yet. And we have not come across a hazard room just yet either, so I have a feeling that we're probably going to be seeing one of those soon. A lot of acid spitters. And there's a big one. Oh no. Got to be careful of those. Hmm, I'm actually just thinking, okay, so... How many doors do they have here? Okay, three doors. We just came in one of them, and we need to avoid all this acid. Oh my goodness. All that acid? Oh, that was terrible. Okay. Well, at least we've got them all on the same side of the particular room, so we should be fine to take these guys out with our shotgun blasts without too many difficulties. Maybe. There we are. Okay, pick up all the experience quickly. Yes, there we go. Okay, so I think we'll go downwards first, just to make sure that we've cleared everywhere, because it's bound to be a very small room. Yes, it is. Okay. So what are we dealing with here? We're dealing with a lot of projectile-based enemies, by the looks of things. And these guys do like to use their homing missiles quite a lot. You can actually destroy the missiles, believe it or not, which is very, very cool. I like that interactability. And let's try and use our grenades. Yeah. Well, technically, they're not grenades, but they act like grenades. Explosive rounds, shall we say. Oh my goodness, I just used all of them as well. If we come across the boss now, we're going to be in a great deal of trouble. No, it's going to be pretty bad. Okay, well, we took them all down. Unfortunately, they didn't give us too much mana to replenish our alchemy stores. But, ooh, I think that might be a little bit difficult. I think we might actually have more difficulties right now with the boss than any other time. So, I can only hope that we come across... Oh no. Okay. If the next boss, or shall we say, if the next room is the next boss, then we're going to be in a great deal of trouble. Ah, oh, we're not. We have a present. I'm hopeful that this is not going to... Oh. Oh, it's a trap. Oh, of course. Of course it's a trap, yes. Okay, well, don't really need to worry about this too much, I don't believe. We do have a good handle on things. We've already taken out the skeleton, which in my opinion... Oh, there is actually another skeleton, okay. 
the skeletons usually are actually very difficult, in my opinion. But, yeah, we need to take out this guy as well. He's causing a great deal of damage to us. There we are. Okay. Pick up the experience. Yes. I think we'll get level 6. Yep. Oh, no, level 7. Oh, wow, I actually missed the level, apparently. Okay, so let's go for... Increases your alchemy mana pool. Uh, well, we've already got all of our mana pools filled, apart from alchemy a little bit, but I don't really think it's worth it to take that just for one. So, yeah, if we just happen to get other mana pools, then I think we'll be able to use it for that. Oh, there is actually... Aha! We get some more shrines! Oh my goodness, wow, this is actually pretty cool. Okay, let's offer some spell mana here. Mana pool for alchemy is increased, but so does... Oh, but so does mana usage. But look at how much it's increased it by a huge amount. Oh my goodness, okay, so let's not offer anything, and then I'll decide... Oh, your damage increases, but so does your mana usage. Okay. Well, that's pretty strange. Let's take a look at how much it actually increased. Not that much, as far as I'm aware. Hmm. Okay, let's offer 26 health, because I think this might be good. Yes, increased protection against enemy attacks. That is definitely going to be very, very worth it. And we still have 78 HP, so we're still in a very, very good spot. So where is the boss room? I don't even know where the boss room is. Oh, it's right there. Okay, great. So we've actually found it already. Good. It would help if I actually remembered those details, wouldn't it? Yes. Well... Not to worry, we are okay. We are doing quite well, and right now I probably would have taken that enraged upgrade, because, yeah, as you can see, the alchemy is basically going to be useless for us in this next battle here. So, I'm actually thinking I might die. I might die in this particular one, so we'll see. But we do have a pretty strong magic wand, and I can only hope that that will carry us through this. If not, however, then... Well, we'll see. Let's just see. Queen Amanda. Oh, that's new. That is new. Not fought her before. Okay, so let's do this. Oh my goodness, that's not too good. Okay. Okay, wait a second. How are we going to do this? I think we should probably just focus generally on staying alive. And by doing that... Oh my goodness, yeah. Let's shoot all of these projectiles. Oh. One of them can't be stopped. Great. Okay. Okay, we're taking out these guys. I need a health potion if possible. I don't even know which one she is. I think I'm dead, really. I think the homing missiles, they do run out eventually, but... Wow. If they had the regular attacks, I think I'd be fine. Okay, any healing potions? I don't see any. Oh. No, this is not good. I'm done, I think. But at least I let you guys know about the sale. And if you want to pick it up, then you can. And... Oh, is that her? Oh, no. I have no idea where she is. So I'm basically just killing all of the ads. Most of the time. I'm hopeful for a healing potion, please. A healing potion would be wonderful. Maybe. No. I would be very grateful for a healing potion. Do you want to give me one? No, nope, it appears not. I'm taking a lot of damage. Where is she, though? I don't actually see her. Like, I don't know which she is in comparison to the rest of them. Is that her there? Yes, that is her. Okay, so that is her right there, the bigger one, obviously. But it's very difficult to see when you're far away, I've got to say. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, okay. That's her there, right? Yes, it is. Okay. I just wish I had more mana. No, two, two HP. Nope. I think it's done. I think we're done. No healing potions. We didn't get any healing potions. Ah. That is so unfortunate. Uh, it would have been very nice to get some. 
Can I destroy these? I don't think I can, no. That's unfortunate. Okay. Well, this is it, guys. This is it. No healing potion drops, and... Whoa, okay. Okay, we dodged it, but I think that might be a bit late. We are almost... We are almost... Yeah, almost there, but... No such luck. No such luck. Okay. Well, there are the bones of our fallen enemies. Not too many. 196 killed. That's not too bad. And we took 23 minutes. So, 23 minutes to get to floor 2. And I actually had a feeling I would die because I didn't have enough... Well, mana. With my alchemy weapons, I suppose. But I also think it may have been my inexperience with the boss herself. But there it is. We've unlocked a mirror of fate. Reveal important locations on the map for all levels. That is a very nice thing. And a chance of casting a magic freezing projectile each time you pick a knowledge gem. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. And that's it. There we go. That is another run of ziggurats. And if you wish to pick it up on Steam right now, it's 50% off. So by all means, it's a very fun game. I enjoy it thoroughly. And I'm sure you will as well. So I thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.